Okay, Coach Minich, we've got double duty today yep. at the uh, Cedar Point Duels here in Sandusky. Binghamton will be here this afternoon. Yes, sir. And then your son gets to wrestle for acid yep. this morning. Yes. But they got round one off. Yeah, we had a bye first round. Yeah, a little upset about it. You know, we're trying to get some matches in, but that's okay. It's going to be five in a row, I think. Then. Five in a row, yeah. That's good. That's good wrestling. That's what we're built for. So you are a PA guy. Yes, sir. So you're a PA guy, but yep. now you're at Binghamton. Yep. Did you coach at a prep school? To get... Wyman Sam. You were at Sam and yeah. then, then to Binghamton? Yes. Yeah, yeah. I know Scott Green's a big Binghamton guy. I know that, right? Yeah, that's a good combo way of working for us right now. Definitely. Um, when you look at this year, how wacky this year was, right? Yeah. Crazy year. Mm -hmm. You guys weren't able to travel much out of your region. Right. And New York had the highest restrictions of any state besides California, right? For the most part, yeah. yeah. What was it like navigating that? Yeah, you know... Um, the, the way we pitched it to our team is, you know, everyone was dealing with the same circumstances. Uh, so we didn't use anything as an excuse. Um, you know, we were testing three times a week uh, at NCAAs. It was every day. Um, so it was very interesting uh, not knowing um, the guy you wrestled the day before, if he was positive, if we were going to be able to continue through the tournament, things like that. So uh, it, it was a, a, a windy road. Um, but, you know, at the end of the day, you know, we got an our, our All-American, uh, Lou Dupre. Um, 184? Yep, yeah, 184. Yeah, came up a little short uh, of, of his personal goal and I think our goal uh, as a staff. And, and we have two years left with him. So, um, you know, we're, we're going to make those changes and move forward. But, um, you know, we had four qualifiers, I believe. Two or three of them were true freshmen. Um, so being that it was the corona year, that was their redshirt year. So... Um, that's probably the best redshirt year anybody could possibly have, um, you know, being an NCAA qualifier for a year that doesn't count. So, um, you know, I, I think the sky's the limit for these guys right now. When you come and you just, you know, Clint Musser, this was kind of Clint's brainchild with Jared Offer, yeah. and it's awesome for you guys because the, the kind of pulling the rug out from underneath your feet with, it's going to be in Ohio, U23, it's going to be in Ohio, it's going to be in Ohio, it's going to be... Oh, no, it's Nebraska, not in Ohio. Yeah. Right? It's in Nebraska. Right. That's a huge shift for all the mid-majors. Correct. Obviously, all the state schools yep. in PA, yep. right, who's, who are going to be here, Lock mm -hmm. Haven, Bloomsburg, Clarion. Yep. They're going to be here. Uh, you know, Lake Erie College is a D2. Yep. Kent State, Cleveland State, you guys. Yep. You don't have the budgets like everybody else does. Right. Right. right? To take however many guys, 10, 12, 15, 20 guys out the Nebraska is a big chunk, right? Huge there. chunk. Yeah. And I don't know if people get that. Something like this, is, you're going to get a, a lot of great mat time. Yeah. Right? What do you want the guys to get out of today? Yeah, you know, I, I mean, it's, it's going to be a great day. Uh, you know, our guys are going to just get mad time and compete. Um, you know, we, we've been putting in a very good training cycle. Um, I'm excited to see these guys compete. We've been focusing a lot more on hand fighting, inside ties, getting physical. Um, I think that's something that we've been lacking, uh, you know, in, in obviously just my first year at Binghamton, but um, we, we've been really focusing more on the, the physicality side of wrestling. Everyone's a great wrestler in college, but who really wants it? You know, who's going to bang the head? Who's going to get physical? And, um, you know, I, I think those are some of the things we're definitely going to focus on this weekend. Your son's wrestling. Yep. So you're getting double duty today. Yes. What weight is he? What team is he? He's acid, I know that. But yeah. what weight is he? Uh, and how old? Yeah, he's wrestled 57 pounds here. He's nine years old. Uh, he probably weighs like 53, maybe. So, uh, so we're going up a weight. Yeah, so we're I up like a it. Bit. I like it. Yeah, it's all good. Um, you know, again, same same message to him as the college guys. You know, we're just here to get mad time. You know, I want him to get physical. You know, we're, we've been focusing on that. Um, you know, his club coach is Van Govish. Uh, he used to run the Dark Knights and, uh, you know, trained like Sammy Sasso and Julian Klebo and those guys. But, um, you know, that's his message is just getting physical. I mean, that's really what separates the, 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 you know, the mediocre guys from being the best is, you know, being physical. And, and he always says that winners shoot. And, uh, you know, I, I have to agree with him 100%. You guys aren't recruiting anybody who can't get off the mat and who cannot put a ride on somebody. How important is the mat wrestling transition from high school to college? Yeah, I mean, the biggest transition, in my opinion, is getting off the bottom. You know, it's, uh, 
you know, there, there is some technical things, but at the end of the day, too, it's just a lot of effort, you know, I mean, it, it, it doesn't take a lot to explode off the bottom and get to your feet, you know, I mean, and there are some technical things to it, I, I don't want to say that there isn't, but, um, yeah, I think the toughest, you know, thing for a freshman is definitely finding a way to get off the bottom, so we, we focus on that regularly. <laughs> Alright, what's, what's your first name? Steve? Steve? Yeah. Is it Junior? Uh, Stevie J, we call him. Stevie uh, J? Texas Same middle name? Same uh, middle name? No, I'm Mark. He's Michael. Okay. You got anything else for me? No? <laughs> you got anything else for me, Coach Minich? No, I'm good. Thank you. I appreciate hey, it. Hey, good luck to you guys today. Thank you.